Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about Profit Protector Pro and more specifically, some more of the advanced features that this software allows you to do. So I recently did a Profit Protector Pro or PPP video, as I'll say from now on, a uh, video maybe a week or so ago, just introducing you to the software and showing you how powerful it is. And I'll link that video up here for you. But yeah, as I've been using this more, um, I've been learning more about, about more features and I just wanted to show you a couple of the more advanced features that you can do with this software. Now one of the things I actually love about this software is how simple it is to set up and use to get going, but then also offers you more advanced features if you choose or want to use them. Now we're on the dashboard right here as we can see and we can only see that this, the software has made me a thousand pound more. Uh, over the buy box than a normal repricer, which is kind of crazy. So, you know, that's probably paid for three years or four years worth of Profit Detector Pro. And I've only been running this for maybe three or four weeks now. So really amazing stuff, to be honest. But yeah, but we're not going to talk about that anyway. What I'll talk about is the automations. So once you've signed up for this software and you... You know, I've set up the basics. You've got your, uh, you've chosen the strategies for specific items. Um, you might want to set up some automations. And what do the automations do? Well, they basically allow you to add some more smart features to your listings in terms of how they reprice. So, as I guess an obvious one might be that you know you can maybe set up an automation that clears old stock, for example, or maybe one that um, is around Christmas. Um, maybe stock that's not sold in a while. Maybe stock that. A lot of seller, anyway, you know, lots of different ways you can think about doing automations. And I've created a couple here and uh, we'll go through some together. Um, apologies if the screen's a little bit uh, zoomed in. I just want to make sure that everyone can see it on the video. It doesn't normally look like this, you know. Um, but yeah, so we can see here I've created a couple already, but let's actually create one from scratch and see what kind of powerful stuff you can do. So Firstly, they've got two options. You've got the wizard option and you've got the flow option. The wizard's more uh, entry level, but let's go through one of these already and see. So what you can do is you can say, it says what should happen for this automation to, uh, for, for this automation to activate. So, um, you know, what we're gonna, maybe let's think about a, uh, creating a rule for stock that hasn't sold in a while. So what we can do is we can say something like, when no sales have occurred for X time, so if we click on that, it will say what period of uh, time do you want to change your strategy? Let's say uh, weeks. Well, let's go for one month. Let's say if we've not had a sale for one month, then what we want to do is, well, we've got multiple things. We can just reduce the price down by a percentage. We can reduce the price down by an you know, actual number. Not that useful to be honest, that one. We can do like a match. We can match the buy box or other sellers low price, you know, high price, whatever. We can switch strategy or we can go to a sort of a min max that we've set. So one here that might be quite good is just to change strategies. Maybe your default strategy is um, something like a profit accumulator or let's have a look at what strategies there are. Um, so my standard one is the hybrid profit harvester. That's my default one. Or is it maybe, yeah, it's that one, I think. Or maybe it's the Dynamic Profit Builder, I forget. I'm 99% sure it's the Hybrid Profit Harvester. But yeah, let's say that, um, you know, if we've not had a sale for one month, um, what we can do is we can maybe change from the default, which is this one here, and maybe we want to go for something a little bit more aggressive. And maybe we want to go for something like the Balanced Sales Accumulator. And if you want to know what these actual uh, algorithmic strategies do, there's a whole help section available in Profit Tech to Pro, just on the bottom left-hand side, and you can see... Uh, but yeah, let's just say, right, we're going to go for a more aggressive uh, sales approach. Um, and if it's been, you know, if something's not sold for one month, um, we can also add another condition in there. So we can say, OK, well, we've done one month. Let's say, you know, when no sales have happened for, let's say, two months, we can, again, switch strategy and we'll go for something maybe like an aggressive sales generator. Uh, do you want to add, and then we can go, yep, let's add another condition in there. And let's say, finally, we're going to go for when no sales have occurred for, let's say, three months. And by the way, this is just an example. I'm not saying cre create this particular uh, strategy. This is just an example of what you can do. And what we'll do here is we'll go for the super aggressive one. So what we've done is we'll say no to that. And we'll name this as like clear um, um, items not selling or something like that. So um, what we're doing basically is we're, as it, the stock is in Amazon, in this particular example, we're basically getting more aggressive the longer the stock has not sold. So if we've not sold for one month, we're going to the aggressive sales generator. Um, I think I've picked the same, no, 
maybe I picked the same one twice, but you get the idea. Um, and we're going to get more aggressive as time goes on. And then we can scroll down and save, and then we've basically got this particular automation. And it shows you a description of what it is. It may be that, um, let's say we want to create another automation. The way I prefer to do it is actually with the flow. So here it's a little bit easier. We can say, let's say, for example, we're going to do, um, I don't know, clear aging stock. And what we can do is we can say, you know, if stock um, age reaches, let's say, six months, which is 180 days, then we're going to switch strategy to the, you know, cautious sell enhancer. And then what we might do is if the stock has reached a year old, so we're going to go to, you could do nine months if you wanted, nine months to a year, but let's go for a year. We're going to go to switch strategy and we're going to go to aggressive sales generator. So this is basically saying automating how uh, items are going to actually, uh, what kind of rules we've got for older stock, basically. So we've got clear items that are not selling. We've got clear aging stock and you can only apply one automation to one thing. So, you know, um, but yeah, you can make one that will, you know, it's very easy to create multiple conditions so you can kind of cover every strategy. Um, you know, I've got one here that's called, I'm called Xmas perfumes. So one thing I noticed at Christmas was, you know, I'd send like a hundred perfumes in, for example, I'd wait for my price to come along and, um, you know, um, I'd sell that and then uh, yeah, they'd start selling. They'd start selling really quickly because obviously it's Christmas. And then I'd end up with, say, like five items left. And what I actually want to do is um, what I did actually was my last sort of like few items is I really whacked the price up. I think, you know, normally I was selling this perfume for like 115, 120 pounds. For my last one, I think I went up to 130. Last two, I think I went to 130. And then when I got a sale there, I think I went all the way to 140 and still got a sale. So, I thought it'd be might quite good to create like an Xmas perfumes um, sort of uh, automation thing here. And what I've done here is I said when the stock level falls below five, increase the price by twenty percent, and when the stock level falls below two, increase the price by another twenty percent. You know, I'd have to play with these and just see, but it just gives you an idea, and you can essentially attach that to your uh, your specific listings that you're expecting around Christmas and um you know make some more money hopefully so really powerful stuff the only thing i don't it doesn't have on here which is kind of annoying is any a date range it'd be nice to be able to apply this to perfumes throughout the year but then have this automation kick in on a certain date range from like say november and uh, december but they don't have that so it's all good but you can see here we've got multiple different options we can do and you know an automation has been active for a certain time we can even create one around the seller numbers. So let's say you've got an item um, and, you know, normally there's only like 10 sellers on there, but suddenly it jumps up to 20. You might want to think about maybe clearing your stock before the price drops. So you can make an automation around just watching for seller numbers. And if the seller numbers, you know, uh, go up too high, then maybe you can clear the stock. Um, alternatively as well, you can basically be waiting for the price to come back or for seller numbers to drop and you can you know watch out for a decreasing seller numbers um and yeah basically just whatever your imagination can bring you you know in terms of uh, obviously yeah hopefully you've been selling on amazon for a little while and you know you might have uh, a listing in mind and thinking about an automation that'd be really good well you should be able to do it in here um and it's really kind of powerful stuff and you can you know go in and create as many automations as you want and then all you need to do is just go to your repricer and um, and just basically add apply it to each listing that you want, you know, each automation. So that is kind of really cool and powerful stuff. The other thing I want to show you as well is, and I, to be honest, I don't think you need this, but some people might want it. And that is to create your own custom strategies. Now, I already feel like there are enough strategies out there already um, available. Like if we go back to the help section, go to the strategies, we've got all these different strategies that you can choose from. But if you feel like there isn't a strategy that kind of meets your exact requirements, you can create your own custom strategy. Again, another very powerful feature. And it's got this, this wizard here with multiple steps and it basically walks you through exactly what you want to happen when certain things happen. So we'll quickly go through here and have a look. So what merchant fulfillment method do you wish to compete with? So we'll go with FBA, okay? What condition do you wish to compete with? Um, well, we're gonna go with new only, so that's fine. But you can create one for used items, you know, all this kind of stuff, kind of very powerful stuff. When there is no buy box uh, and there are other sellers with the selected fulfillment method and condition. So there is no buy box, but there's other people selling the items basically. You can decide to like match the lowest price if you wanted, the FBA price, um, or we can go back, or we can, um, 
Bring it, reduce the price by, you know, 5% or whatever we want to do. Um, yeah, we could basically say, oh, the other seller's low price, we can maybe go 5% below if we wanted to. But let's say we're going to go for a match, other seller's low price. It's cool. When there's no buy box and there's no other sellers with a selected fill method. So basically there's no buy box. There's no other sellers with, who are FBA. We've only got maybe an F, um, an F, uh, an FBM person. Um, what can we go do? Maybe we'll go to, you know, match low price again. Is there a buy box and are there other sellers with a selected, you know, and basically you can go through this entire process basically and um, create your own strategy. I think there's maybe a bug with the back, you know, don't, maybe don't, don't go back as we just discovered, but overall, like really powerful stuff. You know, it, I don't think you need to create your own strategy, but I just wanted to go through it anyway, just in case you wanted to do that. Um, but yeah, it's kind of really powerful stuff to be honest. I'm really impressed with the software. So and the main one for me is the automations. I'm going to be creating a bunch of these automations. You can basically fine tune them as much as you want, create them as detailed as you want or as broad as you want. And I'll be applying these to all my listings, especially things like, um, you know, Xmas perfumes could be a really good one. Um, looking out for seller count drops or seller count increases as well could be very important. I mean, another feature, if anyone from, um, you know, um, uh, Profit Pro is watching, another good feature would be the ability to maybe, uh, I know this is a repricing tool, but since you're already watching anyway, maybe not doing some sort of notification as well might be quite interesting. Um, so it's like an automation around notifications, but it's a bit beyond the purview of, I guess, a repricer. But yeah, that could be quite a powerful thing. So maybe it can notify you if the number of sellers increase on your on your item. So that could be quite a powerful thing. But uh, yeah, guys, hopefully you found that interesting anyway. And hopefully you go out and start creating your own automations and you can see the power of this software. Um, I'm saying I've been really impressed with it um, and you know I, I say it's made me plenty of extra money over the buy box which I can't complain about it's super easy to set up as well um, and yeah if you guys want to sign up by the way to P, uh, Profit Tech to Pro there is a link in the description um, that is an affiliate link it really helps me out if you use it but if you do use it and you sign up to PPP and you need help setting up I'm happy to spend 15 minutes with you guys you know, answering questions or helping you set up if you want. So you've always got that. You've got my free Discord down there as well, guys. So you can jump into that, come and ask me questions, come and hang out with other people as well. Um, it's a great Discord community. It's building up a nice, you know, a nice number of good members who are helping each other. So it's a great place to come and chat. And, uh, you know, if you're whether you're an existing seller or you're a new seller, come and uh, say hello. Cheers, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video and I'll see you in the next one.